Hey, I'm Angelique Teje, and thanks for turning on the set. So what's the set? The set is something new. The set is a chance for you to see and hear national, international, and Texas-born talent. From visual artists to music videos and music venues, we're going to show you places you'll want to see and be seen, and some places you may never even thought to go. Here's a taste of what I'm talking about. My vibe is kind of like if Brian McKnight meets Gavin DeGraw. Mahogany, you are the voice of the band. JD, where do you come in? Basically, I, I just hold the hot sauce. I'm the boss of the hot sauce. There are a lot of great artists that are here. The acquisition is a great cause for celebration for the Kimball. This is the only painting by Michelangelo in the Western Hemisphere. Maybe it's just the rhythm, maybe the slamming bass. I know you feel it cause I see it bit all on your face. They use all recycled materials to make all their paintings, car oils, anything you can think of. Our real purpose is to, is to buy, sell, and trade guitars here over the weekend. Get dressed, let's swear, go kick it tonight, just fun. I'm standing on the rooftop at the south side on Lamar, and just up the street is a venue that's bringing jazz back to Big D in a big way. Brooklyn Jazz, located at 1701 South Lamar in downtown Dallas, first opened its doors in the Bishop Arts District of Oak Cliff. We were told that no one would come out to see live performances at 7 in the evening on a Tuesday night. And I believe that we've proven them totally incorrect because from then till now, folks still come out and see live performances on Tuesdays. And not just Tuesdays, but every day that Brooklyn's open, which is every day of the week except Monday. Once we were written up in the New York Times for being one of the 10 most interesting places to visit while in Dallas. Once that occurred, the neighbors started complaining that we were really noisy. So that, um, in conjunction with the fact that we'd outgrown that space, necessitated the move to what is the Cedars. And thus, the rebirth of jazz and DFW. I'm really proud to say that lots of different venues have opened and they offer not only food but also live entertainment as a result of Brooklyn being open and proven that we can coexist with the other restaurants that are out there but with a different flavor. Lorna likes to spice things up by not only having straight jazz performers but contemporary R&B and soul as well. at Brooklyn Jazz, and while I think that's crazy, it's by choice. We set out to provide a service and provide a place for folks to fellowship outside of church, and I believe that charging just defeats the purpose of what it was that we started out to do, and even though we're going through economic hard times, just as every other business, I believe when you change your business model, you also change the idea of what it is that you set out to do. Right where you are, we'll be right back with more from the set. Bye.